This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, March 16th. Starting out with the stock index futures, there were some very explosive gains yesterday afternoon after the Fed indicated that they are only going to raise rates two more times this year, which compares to the possibility, at least from analyst expectations, that they could have talked about three rate increases. So that was where all of the strength came from to the upside in uh, stock index futures. However, the Fed did raise rates by 25 basis points. That was as expected. So that was really not a market factor. Longer term, we do feel that the main trend is still higher for all of the major stock index futures. Also, we did have the NASDAQ yesterday and also today reaching new record highs. Moving over to the currencies, the dollar index coming under some pressure uh, immediately after the dovish on balance statement from the Fed yesterday with some follow through weakness today. By the same token, we are seeing the pound a little bit better with the Bank of England holding their policy meeting today, leaving rates on change as expected, but the BOE a little bit on the hawkish side. So that helped to pound. I do feel that interest rate differential expectations are turning a bit more neutral in the currencies. So I think there are much better opportunities elsewhere, taking us now to the interest rate markets. The bonds still appear to be in a downward trend, although there was somewhat of a reprieve yesterday with the dovish Fed statement with the bonds advancing. However, today, most of those gains given back, we do feel that the main trend is lower for the interest rate futures markets as inflation kicks in, not just here in the US, but globally. So continue to trade bonds from the short side in precious metals, gold and silver, putting in a very good performance yesterday. Some follow through strength today. Inflation still is the dominant influence that will continue to support gold and silver. So trade those two from the long side. I think there's a lot left, a lot of bull market left in the gold and silver. So good trading, everyone. Once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.